In this video, I'm going to take you on a mouth-watering journey through Kyoto's finest Michelin-starred restaurants. Get ready to discover hidden culinary gems, learn about unique Japanese dishes, and find out how to snag a reservation at these exclusive spots. Whether you're a foodie planning your next trip or just dreaming of Japan from afar, this guide is your ticket to the best dining experiences Kyoto has to offer. Let's dive in. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Toka here, and I've been a travel consultant for the past 20 years, providing valuable advice to fellow travelers from all over the world. The Traveling Toucan has been featured in Top 100 Travel Video Channels by vidIQ, so you know you're in good hands when it comes to travel tips and recommendations. Kyoto, the former imperial capital of Japan, is not just about ancient temples and beautiful gardens. It's also a culinary powerhouse boasting some of the best restaurants in the world. Today, we're diving into the world of Michelin-starred dining in Kyoto, and I'm gonna share with you 10 incredible restaurants that will make your taste buds sing. First up, let's talk about Hayote. This place is legendary, folks. It's been around for over four years and holds three Michelin stars. Imagine eating in a restaurant that's older than some countries. Hayote specializes in kaiseki, a traditional multi-course Japanese dinner. Their signature dish is asagayu, a simple rice porridge that lets you taste the pure flavor of the rice. It's a perfect example of how sometimes less is more in Japanese cuisine. The restaurant is set in a beautiful traditional building with a stunning garden view. A meal here will set you back about 30,000 to 40,000 yen per person, but the experience is truly once in a lifetime. Next on our list is Nakamura, another three-star restaurant. Here, you can enjoy top quality Japanese food, including tempura and sashimi. What sets Nakamura apart is their use of the freshest local ingredients that change with the seasons. It's like eating a calendar. You can taste exactly what time of year it is. The restaurant has been run by the same family for six generations, and their dedication to preserving traditional flavors while innovating is truly impressive. Expect to pay around 20,000 to 30,000 yen for dinner here. Now, if you're a sushi lover, you can't miss Sushi Hayashi. This one-star restaurant does something really unique. They blend Edome, Tokyo-style sushi, with Kyoto-style sushi. It's like a culinary East meets West, but it's all Japan. They also offer a great selection of wines and sake to pair with your sushi. The chef, who studied abroad before opening this restaurant in 2019, brings a fresh perspective to traditional sushi. Dinner here costs about 15,000 to 30,000 yen. For those of you looking for innovation, check out Nakatsuka. This one-star restaurant is pushing boundaries by incorporating molecular gastronomy techniques into traditional Japanese cuisine. It's like science meets art meets deliciousness. The chef, Takayuki Nakatsuka, trained in Europe and brings techniques like espumas, savory foams, to his dishes. Their specialty is Pascade, a thick crepe from France that the chef has given a Japanese twist. A meal here costs around 11,000 yen for lunch and 16,500 yen for dinner. One of my personal favorites is Gion Nishikawa. This two-star restaurant is tucked away in an alley in the Gion district. The chef, Masayoshi Nishikawa, is a master at creating dishes that are not only delicious, but visually stunning. It's like eating a work of art. The restaurant offers two dinner courses, the omakase regular course and a smaller omakase light course. Expect to pay around 30,000 to 40,000 yen for dinner here. The restaurant has a 4.5 star rating on TripAdvisor, with diners raving about the exquisite presentation and flavors. Now, let's talk about Ryosho. This two-star restaurant is really special because it combines traditional Japanese cuisine with French influences. The chef, Makoto Fujiwara, has experience in both cuisines, and he brings them together in a way that's truly magical. The restaurant is known for its beautiful presentation and innovative flavor combinations. A meal here will cost you around 20,000 to 30,000 yen. 
For those of you on a tighter budget, don't worry. There are some more affordable options that still offer an amazing experience. Jiki Miyazawa, for example, offers high-quality kaiseki at a relatively affordable price. It's a great way to experience Michelin star dining without breaking the bank. Lunch here starts from around 8,000 yen, while dinner is about 20,000 to 30,000 yen. Another innovative restaurant is Gosho Iwasaki. This one-star restaurant is known for its unique philosophy. Food is the soul of a person. They specialize in hot pot dishes and use ingredients from the chef's hometown. It's a great place to experience local flavors in a refined setting. Prices here are more moderate compared to some others on this list. For a truly traditional experience, don't miss Kitchison. This three-star restaurant offers chakai seki, which is tea ceremony style cuisine. The dishes here are not only delicious, but also stunningly beautiful. It's like eating edible art. A meal here costs around 20,000 to 30,000 yen, but the experience of dining in their traditional Japanese garden setting is priceless. Last but not least, we have Ishisoden Nakamura. This three-star restaurant has been around for over 180 years and is a true Kyoto institution. The current chef is the sixth generation of the family to run the restaurant. They're known for their scientific approach to traditional flavors, creating dishes that are both innovative and deeply rooted in tradition. Dinner here costs around 33,000 to 44,000 yen, but for a taste of Kyoto's culinary history, it's worth every yen. One thing to keep in mind when planning your culinary adventure in Kyoto is that reservations are absolutely essential. These restaurants are popular with both locals and tourists, so you'll want to book well in advance. Some places, like Ryosho, can be booked up months ahead. Another important thing to note is the dress code. While some restaurants are more casual, others may require more formal attire. It's always best to check in advance to avoid any awkward situations. Now, you might be wondering, Taka, what makes these restaurants so special? Well, it's not just about the food. It's about the entire experience. Many of these chefs operate with a strong personal philosophy. For example, at Gosho Iwasaki, their motto is, food is the soul of a person. This dedication to their craft is reflected in every dish they serve. One last tip, don't be afraid to try something new. These chefs are masters at their craft. And even if you're served something you've never had before, trust that it's going to be amazing. That's part of the adventure of dining at these world-class restaurants. Remember, dining in Kyoto isn't just about eating. It's about experiencing centuries of culinary tradition artistic presentation, and innovative techniques. Each meal is a journey through Japanese culture and history. If you found this guide helpful and are hungry for more travel and food content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to The Traveling Toucan. Your support helps us create more videos like this one. And if you've been to any of these restaurants or have other Kyoto food recommendations, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear about your experiences. If you guys enjoyed this video, then you're going to love our video on the best street food in Kyoto. It's a perfect complement to this high-end dining guide, showing you the other side of Kyoto's amazing food scene. Check it out to discover some hidden gems and local favorites that won't break the bank. Until next time, keep traveling and keep eating well.